But speaking of ETFs, as of today, this was uh, yesterday. No, hold on. It's a few days ago. It happened this recently. iBit is now the world's largest crypto ETP with $19.7 billion in assets, and they've overtaken Grayscale. Grayscale has lost over, I say lost, has sold over 50% of their crypto holdings. Uh, sorry, their Bitcoin holdings, which is huge. And BlackRock basically ate it. And I need to update this because the Fidelity numbers just came in. Always, as always, shard out. Sh shard out. <laughs> Shout out Farside. Link in the chat. The 997 is the one you want to check. This is the greatest flow data. It's all automated. Um, wait a minute. Arc sold 100 million? Way to go, Kathy. Fidelity bought 120. And grayscale numbers are not in yet. And that's probably a glitch. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, you notice something. The totals been positive for like two weeks straight now um price is not really at all-time highs yet and it's just kind of going sideways but i can tell you one thing eventually the sellers however long it'll be are eventually going to wear out grayscale frankly is running out of coins um we keep the tab on this i need to update my tracker i haven't done in a long time mind you it is beyond tedious to track that thing in Excel, but um, they're down to 286,000 total Bitcoin. So you can actually track this on the Grayscale website and see that um, it's real boring data, but you can see that like, hey, they're getting quite lower. Another thing I wanted to point out, we don't talk about this all the time, but we always wanna be on the mindset of if the miners are hurting, if we need to like watch out for our miners. We had the Bitcoin happening and uh, hashing rates went down which is expected a lot of equipment that was profitable was no longer profitable um hold on one second sorry about that so um hold on give me one second rj yep anyway um their hash rates back up now hash rates are very very low it's take a while um, the data is real jittery, um, but the trend of hash rates continuing to go down kind of ended past month or so. So it's really interesting. Past month, I guess past what, two weeks, it's actually been increasing pretty substantially. It's one of those things I kind of want to watch every few weeks, but not, not go too crazy with. But end of the day, um, you guy runner likes increasing hash rates and he likes seeing miners not capitulate. But moving on.